Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are discussing orange liqueurs. Orange liqueurs are essential behind your bar because they are called for in a number of drinks. The problem with orange liqueurs is that there are so many different kinds, different expressions. You have words like Curacao, triple sec, and then there are some that don't claim to be either, you know, like Grand Marnier, Cointreau, uh, which we have here and we're gonna talk about. Uh, so what, what does it all mean? What are the differences? Are they interchangeable? And if not, when do you use one and not the other? We are gonna discuss it. I'm gonna show you the bottles that I have behind my bar. We're gonna taste it. We'll talk about it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what you need behind your bar. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's talk orange liqueurs to the bar. Today's video is brought to you by Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription that delivers wine right to your door. I love a good bottle of wine as much as I love a tasty cocktail, but I don't always have the time to find that perfect bottle for me. There's a lot of trial and error involved choosing the wine, and I'm clearly a busy guy. Bright Cellars makes it super simple. Just go online, fill out a quick seven question taste quiz, then sit back, relax, and before long, Bright Cellars will match you up with your first box of wine based on your answers. Each box comes with educational info cards explaining everything about the bottles you get like the varietal, where it's from, tasting notes, food pairings. There's even a QR code you can scan to rate your bottles. That way, the algorithm can further fine tune your next box to your liking. I've gotten a number of boxes from these guys so far, and each time I discover a new bottle. Let's see what we have this time. Bush Telly. Bush Telly Shiraz. Shiraz. It's Syrah. We got plum, cherry, black pepper, chocolate, which is gonna go good in my belly. What do you think, Freya? Hmm. Ooh, I like that. Soft, little peppery, really nice. Oh, and do you want to tell them the good news or shall I? For a limited time, use my discount link below and get up to $100 off your first four boxes. Thank you, Bright Sellers. Back to the video. So, orange liqueurs. Orange liqueurs are called for in a number of classic cocktails. However, they predate a lot of those cocktails. There are two main styles. You have your French triple sec, and then you have your Dutch Curacao. Both of them date back to the 1800s. Originally, these orange liqueurs were meant to be enjoyed on their own, sipped as cordials, maybe a little after dinner drink, something sweet, something zippy, orangey, fresh, and they were really tasty. So by the late 1800s, when cocktails became pretty common, the orange liqueurs became a common ingredient in those drinks. So a lot of those old cocktail recipes have orange liqueurs. As I mentioned, there were the two styles. And back then, they were definitively different. You had the French triple sec and the Dutch curacao. Now those are still considered the two main categories of orange liqueurs today. However, neither of them have legal definitions as to what they are. So there's a lot of crossover. In fact, there are some brands that will list both curacao and triple sec on the bottle. But in general, the triple secs tend to be lighter in body and brighter in flavor. That's because most of them use a neutral spirit like vodka as the base. Now this is a good thing because what it does is it allows the bright flavor of the orange to shine through. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the bolder, richer curacaos, which usually have a brandy base. Older curacaos used rum too, but what I'm trying to get at is that they weren't using a vodka base. They had something with a bit more flavor and complexity, so the end product had more complexity. It was deeper in flavor, it was richer, and that's also really good, it's just different. Now, it does also make the liqueur darker in color, but don't judge your curacao by the color. You can get curacao in any color of the rainbow, blue curacao being the most popular. In fact, there are a number of tropical drinks that call for blue curacao. I do not have a blue curacao because I have yet to find one that I like. So, uh, yeah, so this is what we have. These are the five that I have behind my bar currently. I'm not saying that these are the five that you need to go out and get. I'm not saying that they are the absolute best, but I will tell you why I like using these bottles in my drinks. So first I'm gonna pour and then I will talk about each. How's that sound? Sounds good? All right, let's do that. The first two are the triple sex. Clearly, there is no color in either one of these. Very light, so this is aesthetically a nice thing if you want to maintain the color in your cocktail. Think of the pinkness in a Cosmo. Then the Curacao's, they get a little bit darker, and these actually vary. Let's start all the way on my right, your left. This is going to be the least sweet. This is the Cointreau. Cointreau is in the triple sec style. However, it does not say triple sec on the bottle. Some people might say Cointreau is its own thing. It's not triple sec. And that's because Cointreau wants you to think that. Years ago, they took triple sec off the label. 
because they wanted to differentiate themselves from all the other triple sects that were being made. Quattro said, no, 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 we are Quantro. And it worked because Quantro is seen as a premium orange liqueur. It's seen everywhere and classic cocktails, a lot of them call specifically for Quantro. On the nose, bright orange, and you do get some of that uh, ethanol. You know that it's alcoholic. It's 40%. It's really good. I think personally, I like drinking Cointreau on its own more than I enjoy it in a cocktail. It is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. So if you want a little pop of orange, it's really good in there. But we're gonna move on because the next one is also a triple sec, which is the Luxardo Triplum triple sec. I've used this one in a number of cocktails. Cheers. I would say on the nose, I probably prefer the Cointreau. Yeah, so this one, is a bit sweeter. You can actually feel the viscosity and notice it's thicker than the Cointreau. On their own, I like the brightness, the simplicity almost of the Cointreau, but when mixing into a cocktail, I like the added sugar of the Triplum, so I usually gravitate towards that triple sec for my cocktails, but both very comparable. Do I need to have both? Probably not, but again, I like to recreate classic cocktails, so I wanna know what the original recipe calls for, and then I can adjust from there. So that's why I like to have a couple options. Now onto the Curacao's. The Curacao's are a bit more varied. This is the Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. This specific product is not all that old. It was created in collaboration with drink historian David Wondrich. It's made with a cognac base. It's become very popular and for good reason. It's very delicious. You've seen me use this one a lot. Let's taste it. We have some color here. It's like a, a pale gold hue. Of the three Curacao's that I have, this one is the lightest. The nose is less punchy. You get a little bit of the cognac, which is really nice. And it's actually very different than the triple sec. The dry curacao is much more complex. It has spice, there's like vanilla, there's like creamsicle quality to it. It is sweeter, also 40%, but you don't notice the alcohol quite as much. On to the next one, Marie Brizard, orange curacao. I think they make a blue curacao. I've never seen it on the shelves. Uh, I would love to taste it because I do like their orange curacao very much. I do love the dry curacao, but I tend to reach for the Marie Brizard orange curacao if I want a richer orange flavor. I will use this in sour style cocktails where I don't want to add any other sweetener. Looking at the color, this one is darker. It's also a little bit more viscous, clings to the side of the glass. Let's taste sweet orange. Oh, these smell like orange. This one, much closer to being a syrup almost. Much heavier, considerably sweeter. This one is lower proof. This is 30% ABV and it adds a lot more texture to the drink. My margaritas, I love this orange curacao in it because it does give me that body that I want. Onto the last bottle, the Grand Marnier. This is really popular, also considered a premium orange liqueur and is kind of also considered its own thing, but it does fall in the Curacao style. It is cognac based and they add spices to it. It's best enjoyed on its own, I would say. Can you mix with it? Absolutely. Will you taste it in a cocktail? Absolutely. Also darker in color, very close to the Marie Brizard, but less viscous than the Marie Brizard. Let's taste it. This has a really pleasant nose. That's really, really tasty. It's very balanced. So this is something that you can drink on its own. Good in a number of drinks, you are going to notice its presence in a cocktail. If you want just a little pop of orange, maybe go for something lighter than the Grand Marnier, because throw in the Grand Marnier and it's gonna be bold. Now, when to use what bottles? Do you have to have five bottles behind your bar? Let's talk about that now. Application. I like to use triple sec in sour style cocktails that also call for a little extra sugar, whether it's simple syrup or grenadine, but I'm relying on something else as the sweetening agent. Rules are meant to be broken, but this is a general guideline that I like to use when I reach for a bottle of triple sec. Also, for the most part, they're all clear. So if you do want to maintain the color, the aesthetic of a cocktail and still have that orange flavor, triple sec is a good option. Now, when to use curacao's. I'll grab these two. I'm gonna set this one aside for now because that's a, another beast. But I really like to use curacao's in tiki drinks, tropical drinks that use crushed ice. There's a lot of extra dilution there and the curacao's with their richer flavor hold up to that dilution and you get enough of that orange flavor that comes through. Uh, in fact, a lot of uh, traditional tiki drinks call specifically for curacao. I will also use curacao in sour style cocktails where I don't wanna have to add any extra sugar. Like when I make a margarita or um, Pegu Club. So with that said, if you were to go out to the store and you're looking to stock your bar with an orange liqueur and you only want to buy one bottle, then I would probably look at this lineup and pick the one in the middle. Something similar to the Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. It has the richness of 
curacao, but it's not overly sweet and it, you still have a, a bright orange e -ness that you could use in place of triple sec rather easily. So that's the, I can only buy one bottle of orange liqueur Anders. This is the one that I would recommend to you. Now, if you were to only get two, and I would recommend if you do have the budget and the space behind your bar, get two orange liqueurs because they do vary quite a bit. In which case I would get one triple sec and one curacao. Perhaps I would recommend grabbing the Luxardo Triplum triple sec and maybe a heavier curacao like the Marie Brizard. Or you could do the dry curacao. Say you want to get three bottles of orange liqueur. In that case, I would, if it were me, I would get one triple sec and two curacaos because I find that curacaos vary more within the curacao group than triple secs vary within the triple sec group. Pick a good triple sec and grab two curacaos, maybe a lighter style curacao and a heavier curacao like the Marie Brizard. Just some ideas. You can, yes, if a recipe calls for triple sec, you can use curacao. It's gonna be a little bit richer. You'll have to balance it out, but there's nothing wrong with that. So there we are. In conclusion, orange liqueurs are fun. I'll probably leave a couple other bottles that I would recommend checking out in the description down below. What are some of your favorite orange liqueurs? I hope that you learned something. I hope you got some ideas of things to, to pick out at the store and that will do. So thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Be good to your neighbor. I'll see you next time. Cheers.